Welcome back, class. This is Y Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we're playing Star Wars Edge of the... Uh, no, we're not. We're playing Shadowrun. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Today, while we're playing Shadowrun, we have our uh, GM, Jared. He's going to be taking us through our first adventure tonight. We've all done our character generation separately or by bugging Jared incessantly until he helps us with it. Um, I'm on vacation, so I spent a lot of time reading books. And let's, nerd. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Well, you can see my back to the teacher. You can see my character sheet in the description below. So go ahead and take a look at that. So, uh, people, who's playing what? We've got do Mike is playing Norio, who uh, I'm guessing is some type of Iron Chef, right, Mike? Yep. Okay, good. He is yes, Premier, Premier chef, chef of Japan. Norio is the uh, growth on the side of his head. I think that's supposed to be his arm. Yeah, it is. Why does he so have an not... arm growing out of the side of his head? <laughs> I think it's just a badly angled picture. So the idea. So not only is he a ninja dressed all in black, but he's a ninja dressed all in black who ripped the sleeves off of his ninja outfit. <laughs> so he's like a frat boy ninja. Maybe he worked out too much and his eye he flexed and the sleeves exploded. No, he, and he couldn't afford. He couldn't girls. afford a new uniform. He's like, he dang, as he is a hmm, too early to bleep anything. <laughs> uh, so we've also got Farrell, who is playing Suzume Hawkeye, who uh, I think for this campaign is the kawaiiest ugu. Is that the <laughs> that's the official class term? Uh, yes. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> My <laughs> tablet broke, so I couldn't draw myself an icon. I Aww. I'm sure your icon will be even more kawaii and ugu than this one. <laughs> Uh, you're a... She basically is just an animated body pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out. Son of a bitch, I was drinking something. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make sure James Franco doesn't hear about this. <laughs> now for everybody who didn't pick an anime picture as their token. Uh, well, it's I close. James Franco's going to tweet about this game. Oh, like, oh my god. <laughs> Um, so you're you're doing like a sniper kind of thing, right, Farrell? Yep. Okay. Um, and then we have Fane, totally related to Amek from the previous Unrelated. game. Totally related. Unrelated. Is his descendant. Even though it's a completely different universe. Is his great great grandson who travels through dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> he came he inherited in, the family looks. He went in the fade and came out. Uh, yeah, he's he's got uh, the bald spot there. One of the fade <laughs> and came the, out in Shadow Run. Now he's the guardian of hypertime. <laughs> And I believe uh, your character is a shaman, a bear shaman. Yes, he is a troll from the woods that decided to uh, cling to idealistic beliefs and come to the city to help people through healing. All right, excellent. And, and also he punches people. Well, yes, the punching is a very important part of this character. It is. Very. Uh, and we have Mr. Clydesdale, uh, who is a horseman. No. Uh, if you look at the bottom of this picture, it's actually that this human torso melds into the body of a, a draft horse. But he is a hung like a horse. Oh, well, it's we we did need to get an extra large noose to deal with it. Um, <laughs> so Mr. Drysdale is uh, being played by the other Matt. Or what are we calling you now? What's uh, I, I believe my real name is now Other Matt. Other Matt, right. I got it legally <laughs> changed for you. wife calls him that. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Other Matt. Uh, <laughs> True. The so Other White Matt. You are playing a, a face, right? Yeah. He's got a bit of a face on him. Look at him. Yeah, I like his smirk. Uh, so that's face, which is a shadow run term. I'm just I'm essentially going to view that he's uh, actually uh, Terry Crews. Right. Okay. I hope that that I is actually him. <laughs> and he can play uh, the drums with his muscles. I am playing this guy, Darcy Vandal Genserich. He is uh, an orc, but uh, he likes to wear a helmet when he's on shadow runs because of reasons. And during the day, he runs a magical makeover salon. To be fair, uh, Mr. Drysdale can't be Terry Crews. He only has strength and body. Uh, uh, yeah, strength and body are only three each. Oh wow! So no, not Terry Crews, not Terry Crews at all. Maybe yeah. J. August Richards. The best you could manage there would be a Wayans. Sorry. Damn. 
<laughs> he kind of looks like one. Wow. <laughs> okay. Rated a GI Joe rides a cobra. So we are. This is our team of shadow runners. Yes, and I am. I am, of course, your game master and uh, the architect of the disappointment of everyone listening to this video right now. <laughs> <laughs> We all wanted to go back to Star Wars, guys, but he made us do this. There's no handout yeah, on did, Suzume. Oh, I did you get rid of everyone's it. heads. Yes, I did. I did, oh, and uh, it was a Ruger Super Warhawk, too, so we had to be so really tonight, careful. Tonight is going to uh, kind of be a bit of a tutorial session, because most of the people involved have not actually played Shadowrun before. And even for me, it's been a while since I've actually run Shadowrun. Because a lot of people don't want to run and play my games anymore, and I don't know why. Oh, good. So, um, let's get to killing everyone off. No. Okay. No, the other thing. <laughs> That's where he introduces the uh, Shadowrun uh, equivalent of a bear scar. <laughs> <laughs> and I run for my life. That's so here's this uh, insect so that's shaman. Pain turns into a Wendigo. No. <laughs> no. Not again. All right. So uh, what we're going to be doing tonight is that uh, our our group of shadow runners, uh, rather than having any sort of big important mission, rather than having any you know multi thousand new yen payday on the line, um, you have all gone to your local stuffer shack because you have the munchies. Okay. So. You know, you guys, there's, you're in a, it's a, it's basically Stuffer Shack is the, uh, kind of the 7-Eleven of the future. It's mostly a convenience store, though it has elements of a fast food place to it, too. Uh, most of the food is soy of various varieties. Mm. Uh, it's all cheap. And, uh, you know, it's. There's bright fluorescent lights that make everyone look absolutely horrible, and cheery music playing in the background. So, you know, position yourselves where you are. We're going to assume that you guys at least know each other. Everything's I'd like great. Like to assume that we've been on a few runs together already. Yeah, I mean, you guys have worked. You guys have worked together before. And that's why so, we've gone on this run to the milk store. True. Yes, this is the milk. We just run. did a lot of drugs, and now we're hungry. Well, I do work at a black alley clinic. You never know what we stock back there. I'm running over here. Screw these guys. In fact, you guys might even be on the way back from a shadow run. Wow. So, Let's how about that shadow run, sweat. guys? Some crazy adventure you all just had. Man, Man that was I wild. I need some chips. I, I couldn't believe it when you did the thing. And uh, I know, right? it was I know. great. And now I'm smoking indoors. Oh, it's, it's dangerous. It's well, a fire hazard. Hey, I'm a this is a dystopian future. <laughs> I've heard that it's hazardous for your health. <laughs> I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> I don't know if he does either. Does Norio speak Japanese? Yes, is, he's actually important. from Japan, so he does. I, I hope you took English at zero. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I had. <laughs> English at bad Hong Kong dub. So you guys are, uh, you know, looking around, picking. Darcy's looking at the fashion magazines. Top of the year. I can't believe skinny ties are making a comeback again. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you Mario wearing a helmet simple. indoors, man? I got my reasons. <laughs> and the doors slide open. And a bunch of people come in talking loudly to themselves. Inconsiderate. Among Inconsiderate. Well themselves. Uh, it's probably better than us shouting across the store at each other. <laughs> it's okay. We're the main characters. They're lucky that we haven't broken open every container in the in the store yet. So these these soy slim gems look delicious. Soy slim gems. Yes. Just want to snap into one, right? Already doing it. 
You gotta pay for it first, man. He's like not even like undoing the casing. He just bites right through all of it. So this group of, <laughs> of people, most of them are, are are goons. As you can see by the icons, goons. They are Hired rather goons. indistinct looking humans in you know leather. Their hair is, is poison. Dyed. Not no. quite. No. Their hair is dyed various colors, and they're all wearing. Uh, they all have sort of semi-matching gang colors on. Well, at least they're color coordinated. If only they My had a better. Has increased by fifty percent. If only they had a color scheme that was better than this puce and orange they've got going on. Ugh. Disgusting. Your comets will only antagonize them. They are led by a, a enormous troll whose head actually brushes the ceiling. Um, bigger larger, than than, troll. larger than your own troll. Dang! Uh, to be fair, Fane is probably not a very not very big for a troll. Are you the runt of the litter, Fane? He's I still don't... bigger than any of you. <laughs> <laughs> But he's not very large for a troll. It's got a eight body, eight strength. It's, it's decent. He's our he's our Kimari. <laughs> so Drasdale kind of goes around the aisle he was in and is looking at uh, Stacy Sleaze. And they, uh, you know, they start bothering the owner as as gangs are wont to do. The rather nebbish part-time guy who's sort of stuck working the 11 o'clock on a Wednesday night shift. Poor guy. Are you that guy? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all been that guy at some point in our professional and the, lives. the woman, um, can't really call her a lady, who seems to be with the troll. Whoa. Pulls out a uh, an Uzi and points it at the guy behind the counter. Oh, this escalated quickly. And the other guys, they start like stealing whatever they want and pushing over racks and stuff like that. This is distressing. This is very so disrespectful. It's, it's pretty clearly a stick up, though they haven't quite noticed you yet. Hmm. Well then. I suppose being a troll, and a pacifist at that, that I would like to uh, wander over in that direction. Okay. I would have recommended hunkering down and crying. Well, hang on. <laughs> By the time you do get around the corner, you become yeah, sort of right. obvious. Try <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean, yeah. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I guess I can't hear anything. The, the, What's all that racket? The woman turns. To, she Stacy turns to the uh, to the enormous troll with her, and nudges him. Look, there's more chumps back here. The troll turns to look at the other troll. At Fane. Romantic with music a, starts with playing. A, with a big <laughs> unpleasant grin on his face. He says, "Hey, don't don't you know this is a stick up?" Damn, it's a Mexican troll. <laughs> no, he's just a dumb oh. troll. Oh. I'll get Mike to translate. <laughs> You're robbing me? Yeah! <laughs> oh. Um, how good is... If my English is three, how how good is that? Good. I don't have a sense of That's okay. normal. Okay. That's competency, I think, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's basically challenging me out for uh, letting me know that it's a stick-up, uh, in case I missed that, right? Yes. Okay. To him, it seems clear that the fact that you're still moving around means you've obviously missed that this is a stick-up. Well... civilians are supposed to, you know, cower and stuff. Indeed. Do I have a gun on me at the moment? Like, pointed at me, rather. He is or... not carrying a gun. Okay, so they're just like... Stacy isn't pointing at me yet. No. She's not pointing her gun at you, no. All right, so I will continue moving forward a little bit, kind of slowly. You know, I'm not like charging him or anything. Okay, this is going to be probably when we're going to need to start rolling initiatives. So move back. Okay. okay. These guys seem pretty unreasonable to me. 
Yeah, they're not. They're probably, you know, they're probably actually stoned on something. Oh. So, so yeah. initiatives. Do we click the initiative button? We do. Click the initiative button and All right. enter how many dice you have. I have one. Wait, why did I roll for Suzumi? Ah, I was impersonating her. Oh, you were checking something when the dice roller, I think. I was, my bad. You can reroll, or Jerry can be a cruel master. And this over here, I see it says reaction in square brackets, so I'm guessing it counts it in there automatically? Yes. Awesome. Oh, but you have to, I have to be impersonating to do it. Yes. <sighs> I can make the GM special for you real quick, just one second. Crush a Craig. Craig. Uh, oh, I rolled his initiative wrong anyway. How many initiative dice do I have? Just one? Uh, do you have an improved initiative power? Um, I, I, I don't <laughs> think I do. <laughs> do you have like wire reflexes or anything? On do I, have I don't think you do. No, I don't. No, you don't have anything that improves your initiative, Mike. So you're rolling your reaction plus 1d6. Okay. So just put the 1 in the initiative when it asks you for you. Because it's how many dice you roll. Sweet, GM initiative. Yes, uh, how you do that is you hold down select and then click all the tokens that you want to roll for, and then just hit initiative. So nice. I think I just rolled a 6. That's good, right? Looks that way. There we go. That's slightly better for him. Now he's tied okay. with me. Um, goons. Hired goons. Hired goons. <laughs> and I did goon eight wrong. So you can say that they're the goonies? No, the goonies are good. Maybe well, they're good, and we're the pirate guys. No. I mean, the last time we saw the goonies, they were good. It's been a while. True. All right. Still good. I mean, they've got... They've got Chunk there with them, so... <laughs> wow, it's so wow, weird so... to be playing in a game where nobody has, like, insane initiative. I'm sure we'll get there someday. Alright. Norio. It's a me. You're first. That's Italian. You were waiting to make that <laughs> joke, weren't you? I was, and now it's done forever. <laughs> I hope you're... Deeply ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've brought shame to my generations of my clan, yes. Alright, now, obviously in this situation you guys are not going to be carrying any really heavy ordnance because you went into a store. So any, like, really big guns that you probably have would probably have been left in, you know... Fortunately, like, I, I, I am heavy ordnance. Yeah, basically. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, Alright, so you may take, in your combat phase, um, one free action, although technically you can take a free action in anyone's combat phase once you've acted, and um, you can take either two simple actions or one complex action. Hmm. So what counts as a free action? Uh, free actions include activate cyberware, call a shot, change smart gun fire mode, um, but only if you have this, not a, only if it's cybered. Right. Uh, deactivate a focus, delay action, drop object, drop prone, drop sustain spell, eject smart gun clip, gesture, observe, speak a word, spell defense. So the allocation of spell defense dice is a free action. Okay. Thanks. Simple actions include activate focus, call nature spirit. Uh, that's only if you've already summoned it. 
and it's sitting on standby. Right, standby. Change gun mode, change position, command spirit, fire weapon, insert clip, observe in detail, pick up, put down object, quick draw, ready weapon, remove clip, shift perception, take aim, throw weapon, use simple object. Complex actions are astral projection, banish spirit, call elemental, cast spell, control spirit, erase astral signature, fire automatic weapon, uh, fire mounted or vehicle weapon, melee or unarmed attack, reload firearm, summon nature spirit, use complex object or use skill. Is What and about like movement. a movement? And Sorry, movement yeah. in no way changes the availability of free, simple, or complex actions. Oh, okay. However, when you move, it's over the entire combat turn. Hmm. So as you're moving, you're so, doing these actions. Right. So when you're doing something while you're moving, you um you experience you it it gives you modifiers. Okay. Every character has a movement rate for both walking and running. You're walking uh this rate is the distance the character moves by that method per combat turn. The character's walking rate is equal to his quickness in meters. And every on this map every square is 1 meter. Alrighty. Uh the character's running rate is equal to quickness times his running modifier which is based on your uh meta human species. It's times three for everyone who isn't a dwarf, times two for dwarves. So we should ignore the numbers that come up when we're moving, like the 5, 10, 15. It's actually just... It should just say one, 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 one. Okay. I have it set to one per distance. It's coming up as 5, so, 10, 15 Mike. for me. Yes. It shouldn't be. Nope, I'm I on a different map it. now. Hey! <laughs> what just happened? What the hell? <laughs> What did you do, Mike? I don't think I did anything. I think Fane just Steve. casted a nuke spell. It looks that obliterated way. Obliterated the entire store. We're you all moved dead us now. to the other map. I did no such thing. Yes, you did. I only changed the distance for cell. Back to one. When we How all got booted that? to the other map. Is everyone back <laughs> on back. Milk Run? Yes. Yeah, click on select map. Terrible. It's because there's two GMs. Two people are logged yeah. on GM right now. Uh, okay. Okay, so, Mike, what are you doing? Yes. Um, I am going. I am walking towards. I'm walking towards the commotion. Specifically, I'm going to walk up to kind of back up Fane. Okay. So you he, can move your quickness in meters. My quickness. Quickness in meters. So what's your you quickness? Six. So you can move six squares. That's feral. I'm not moving Farrell. He's he's moving himself. Yeah, I had it on drawing tool instead of measurement tool. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I slowly get there. <laughs> it's I a big store apparently. Yeah. That's what you get for uh, massive. fucking Walmart. <laughs> That's what you get for eating in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> um now you can run. But which would might... triple your movement yeah. rate. However, it would give you a plus four modifier to any action to any tests. And that's pl pluses are bad and minuses are good in this game, right? Because right, it modifies okay. your target number. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you going to do anything other than moving? Um. You have two simple actions. Two for simple actions, action. right? Okay. Um. Is uh, I like uh, unsheath? Not that I'm going to do this, but unsheathing a weapon would be like a simple action, right? Or that yeah, that's complex? ready weapon. Ready, ready weapon. Okay. Yep. Hmm. You can also ready a number of small throwing weapons, such as throwing knives or shuriken, equal to one half your quickness round down per ready weapon action. Okay, I'll do that. I'll ready some shuriken. He'll have some like behind his back, ready to toss if things get okay. carried. Okay. So are you doing two actions with that or one? Let's do two because he's using both hands. Okay, so, so you have a number yeah. equal to so you now have a number equal to your quickness rating ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah. that's that's this pass for you. All right. Suzume. Uh, Actually, move up. what? Uh, Mike, make sure you hit the initiative minus ten button when you're done with the turn. Okay. Um.
Yes, I was the nerd who incorporated the one more tag on that thing. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah. Keep my back to the uh, shelf for the moment. All right. Perhaps I will uh, bum rush him next time. <laughs> so that's all you're doing? Uh, if I have my bow, then yeah, I can take that. I don't know. Out, you think but... you would really take have taken it into the store with you? Exactly. <laughs> this is why sidearms are good. Yes. You don't have any other guns? Um. You know, I think I put down for one, but I had taken out the pistol skill for it. It would nope, default. It. it would default to your quickness. Anyway. I don't have it. No, I don't have it in my gear. Oh, no, I do have it in my gear. Ha-ha! <laughs> so, yeah, I'd have to default to quickness. Okay. Which is nine. Do you want to take a shot? Are they shooting yet? Nobody shot anybody yet. I'll take aim. Okay, so you're going to take aim action? Yeah. All right. So the take aim action I think that's is a simple, a action. simple action. The character may take aim with a ready ranged weapon. Oh, you'd have to ready it too, so it's like ready with one, take aim with the other? Yep. Yeah, with a ready uh, ranged weapon is a simple action. Firearm, bow, or throwing weapon. Uh, take aim actions are cumulative, but the benefits are lost if the character takes any other kind of action, including a free action at any time. Take aim actions may be extended over multiple combat phases and initiative passes, even from combat turn to combat turn. The maximum number of sequential take aim actions the character may take is equal to one half the character's base skill or, or specialization with that weapon rounded down. Um, actually, you might not be able to take aim. At this point, maybe I should point out that we're playing the third edition of Shadowrun, because I don't think anyone's mentioned that. Nope. Yeah, this is third edition Shadowrun. <laughs> third edition Shadowrun. It'll be in the title anyway. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you can take him. Default is just a little weird sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And hit your uh, initiative ten. minus 10 button. 10. All right. Woohoo! Fane. Hooray! Okay, well, no guns are pointed at me just yet. No one's shot no, no. yet. Um, no. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move up my quickness, my amazing quickness of four. Okay. And it was a complex action to use a skill, correct? Yes. Well, being the pacifistic, huge, lumbering punch holes in you troll that I am, I would like to talk them down. At least attempt it. <laughs> All right. Can I use negotiate to try and uh, at least let them, I don't know, spare the life? Because, you know, he's just some wuss guy. It doesn't have to come to shooting. Hmm. I'm sure I'll fail horribly at it, yep. but it'll be amazing. Yep. Please feel free to rob this man, but don't kill him. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I do. <laughs> you want to take some food? I mean... um, I'll cabinet. even help. Yeah, I probably would, actually. <laughs> and that's how Fane becomes an accessory to robbery. <laughs> that's an open test. Okay, open test. Uh, so... so now an open test, we have a special mm -hmm. button for it. For those following at home and those following the game right now. I'll it's a test right which now. does not have a set target number. So all you're looking for is the highest number. Okay. Um, basically, all I roll is just what my negotiate skill is, right? Right. And are there any option for pools of this, just for curiosity? No. no. Okay. So this is going to fit horribly. Okay, maybe not so horribly. All right. Well, it's not their act. They. It kind of seems to get through to them a little bit. 
and the uh, the poor schlub behind the counter seems quite <laughs> happy that there's a different big troll <laughs> who's uh, you know speaking on his, speaking on his if side. If you murder this man, the penalty will be double, if that. Please only take his stuff. <laughs> Such a reasonable also, request. This guy kind of talks like an Elcor. Yeah, yeah, you do a really good Elcor, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Coquettishly. So if we ever get to play a Mass Effect game, now you just need to <laughs> now you just need to announce your feelings before you talk. That would be silly. It anyway, would be. So that's your turn. It is. So initiative minus ten. Oh, that's a problem. I think you can just double click okay. as to which one you want to be current. So, Mr. Drysdale. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, the yeah. current then switches all the way down to you with the, the zero. zero. Right. So, I oh, need to you do can... that. I need to do end your turn and then have you do it, I think. Actually, anyway. if you right click, the first option on the token is make current. So. Okay, that works too. Okay, so. You're up. Mr. Drysdale wants none of this. Okay. So Good job, Mr. Face. Good job. <laughs> That's right. Well, well, clearly Fane's got this one covered. <laughs> <laughs> now, as soon as shit went down, I'm just going to back up a sec. We might remember he was back over here. Right. He immediately ducked back here and then worked his way over here before shit really started to go down. Okay. <laughs> he... he... He dove into the uh, snack pile like <laughs> That's right. That's right. He, like I said, he wants none of this. So you're you're hiding behind the the, the soy Twinkies. Exactly, which are probably delicious. We oh, yeah. were without them for several months, I believe, in the future. It's true. Yes, Can't believe anyway, they shut down um, the Twinkie factory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it got it got bought out by another megacorp. Yeah. They were actually the only thing that did survive untouched the mine apocalypse. That got was us, actually. Bought out by the now Probably, defunct yeah, Fuchi Corporation. But anyway, so anyway, what are you doing? Dale is uh, he's gonna stay hunkered down and he just kind of, kind of, kind of work his way over here and kind of tap Vandal on the shoulder. Yes. Oh, I can't Pretty talk. Fane's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> that troll is bigger than him. The troll is substantially larger than him. That is an unusually large troll. I'm pretty sure that is three trolls stuck together with glue. Oh, don't discount him just yet. Don't forget. He is a shaman. Don't say that too loud. Okay. Yeah, they'll so just put bullets in me immediately. That's pretty much your turn. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I've also got my... Uh, exceedingly large handgun out and okay. I'm screwing the silencer on. Okay. Never so, uh, Drysdale's turn, I imagine. Hit initiative minus 10. Playing. All right. It's now Stacy Sleaze's turn. And the uh, the vivacious Miss Sleaze really? considers what what uh, Fane has to say about not shooting the guy behind the counter. You know, she kind of, like, weighs it over visibly. And then she turns around to shoot at Fane. What a bitch. Ugh. Oh, she's Seriously. rather not interested bitch. in discourse. Apparently not. Just she is not an ideal wife. I wasn't going to say. I was going to let the viewers come to that themselves. No, no you, you, you can't leave a breadcrumb. I was going to, you know, <laughs> leaving a trail for Hansel no, and Gretling this. Over. All right, fine. There is fine. no Chekhov's gun here. <laughs> All right, so how are we uh, doing? Well, I, for one, am appalled. All, All right. right. So she is firing a burst fire weapon. Uh oh. Uh, burst fire mode, firearm spits out three bullets in rapid succession every time the trigger is pulled. Firing weapon in burst fire mode is a simple action, which means the character can't fire up to two bursts per combat phase. Firing weapon in burst fire mode uh, imposes a plus three recoil modifier per burst fired. Recoil compensation neutralizes modifier. So she is firing one burst at uh, 
at fame. So that gives her a modifier of three. The distance is a whopping four meters. Oh my. Well, it's too far for her to shoot. Game over. We're, we're safe. We're safe. <laughs> if only. Uh, so that is indeed short range. <laughs> so her target number is four. She's adding, and she gets... Uh, target number is four plus three, so seven. Not adding any combat pool dice to this. Now, so the attack roll happens. So she scores one success. Now, Emic, not Emic, Fame. <laughs> <laughs> you screwed me over. <laughs> now you get to make no defense tests of any kind. <laughs> <laughs> you just get shot, okay? <laughs> it's going to keep right. happening. So now... <laughs> Now you have an op the option of making a dodge test. Mm -hmm. Now a dodge test is done entirely with combat pool dice. So it can only be done in situations where you have access to your combat pool. Okay. How do you know if you have access to your combat pool? Because you're aware of the attack and not surprised or held down or something. The more you know. The more you know. Now let me the star just whizzed check. over by my head. Okay. Dodge test. Uh, okay, so hang on before you roll anything. Mm -hmm. uh, the dodge defending character so chooses she can use any number of any number of combat pool dice. You can use all of them if you want to dodge the attack. The base number for the target number the base target number for the test is four. The following modifiers apply. Plus one for three rounds fire from burst fire or auto fire. Plus one per blah blah blah. No, those don't count. Uh, Shotgun spread counts. Damage modifiers count. Uh, roll the dice using the rule of one and rule of six. Okay. Each result that ex equals or exceeds the target number of success. Keep track of the number of successes. If the number of successes obtained on the dodge test are more than the attacker achieved on his, uh, his attack test, then the attack is completely dodged and the target takes no damage. And even okay. if you don't completely dodge, any success you negate is negated from the damage test. Right, and that carries over to the uh, resistance test, I believe. Right. So okay. you need at least two successes to dodge her completely. But you can you only, only use combat pool dice. Hmm. Well, the trick here is that, of course, I'm in front and I'm getting shot, so if I spend all my combat pool dice right now, I have nothing for later. Exactly. Um, but I would like to dodge it very much, so I think I will go ahead and spend, uh, I don't know, Four? Four four dice? So you're gonna you're gonna throw uh more than half your combat pool at this. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> uh what's the target number? Five. Five? Five. Uh, uh, let's just go with three then. Okay. There's no way to automate this just yet, so I had no time for it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. We don't forgive you. I figured as much. So, three dice, so I'm making a su success test, right? You're making a success test against a target number five. Well, you get shot. <laughs> oh. So, uh, yeah, Stacy Sleeves turns around with her Uzi and starts shooting uh, directly at poor Fane. Fane attempts to get out of the way, but can't quite manage it. So that negates her success from the perspective of, um, like, she doesn't get to stage up the damage any. Mm -hmm. So now we get to do a damage resistance test. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Their first damage resistance test. <laughs> okay. It's not your first, but that's coming, don't worry. I said our. Right, okay, so... the Uzi three has a target number has a uh, damage code of six M, but I believe that's modified by my armor, right? But it's modified by its burst fire. Oh. 
Uh, for the purposes of resolving burst damage, treat the weapon as having a power level three points higher, then raise the damage level by one. So I'm it's sure minus. that's not already included in the damage code because it can only fire burst fire. <laughs> okay, so it's a nine S then, yeah. Yep, nine S. Okay, and then uh, you for the purpose... ballistic armor from it. Okay, so it's four. So the target number is five. Yes. Okay. And you get extra dice because you're a troll. I do. Yay. Uh, so, because my body is eight and I have dermal armor and also I have the toughness perk, I roll ten dice. Uh, the target number would be five, right? Right. Okay. So, Fan achieved three successes. Every two successes you get stages the damage level down. So Fane takes a moderate wound. Okay. I should recode how that displays, but that's correct anyway. And... Okay, so you got hit. Um, character struck in ranged or melee combat may be knocked back or possibly down by the blow. When struck, the character must make a body test. Against range attacks, the target is one half the power of the attack rounded down. So, make me a body test against target number two. Okay, so it's uh, this does not count toughness or dermal plating, right? No, because it's not damage resistance test. Right. Okay, you you get shot, and you don't get knocked down or even stumbled. Nice. You're just gonna like, huh? <laughs> what just happened? No, I'm I'm yeah. greatly alarmed. <laughs> what are these fire sticks? Oh yeah, you felt that. Yeah, moderate runes, nothing to mess around with. I'm already uh roughly third dead. Well, <laughs> unconscious. Well, that's no good. Yeah, someone's um, gonna die then... before we leave. <laughs> okay, and then uh, that's her turn. Darcy. It's my turn. And my runner name is Vandal. Darcy. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> uh, right. So. Oh, man. Everything's flying out of my head. So, uh, quick draw is a simple action? Yes. Okay. How is it different from regularly drawing your weapon? It's quick. It I'm is just, quick. I'm just curious if there's like a, a um, no, it's mechanical actually, difference. Actually, what happens is when you quick draw is that you can quick draw a pistol sized weapon, because it'll be four or higher, and and immediately fire it by expending a quick draw action. Okay, so it's, you draw and fire with one simple action? Right. And okay. you make a reaction check to do it. Right. And I have a negative two modifier on that, or plus two modifier on that? Yes, I do. Okay, so yeah. In okay. that case, you need to make a reaction test against target number two, and you need okay. one success. All right. So my plan here, because I don't know how long it takes to activate my smart goggles. Um, um, is that, hmm. I, that's a complex action, isn't it? Activating the smart goggles? Yeah, like turning them on. Because I've got a smart link with my gun. Right. Um, no, I don't think that'd be a complex action. I don't think so. <laughs> We're all learning things today. I'm rusty. <laughs> I've never known people to actually take a smart goggles. <laughs> well, I'm a mage. I can't take... I know, oh. no, I know, I know, no, I know, I know that. It's just it's so weird. Yeah. Um. No, I'm going to say it, it would just be like a simple action. Okay. Like if somebody took a bow. Yeah. <laughs> So my plan, uh, what, what's the range on the heavy pistol? 
a lot. Um, 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 um range tables. Because I don't want to get too close to this crazy lady, but I do want um, to shoot her. Heavy pistol is short range up to 5 meters, medium range up to 20, long range up to 40, extreme range up to 60. Okay. All right. Good. So, uh, Darcy, seeing Fane get shot with uh, an Uzi by some crazy lady and her troll boyfriend and her pack of yeah, goons. Yeah, she laughs. When she, she also laughs when she shoots him. What a jerk. What a, jerk. What a bitch. Uh, so Vandal's got a couple of choices in his head because, you know, he is a walking artillery unit, but he is also in a store, in an enclosed environment, and blowing up the entire store would kind of defeat the purpose of what uh, Fane was trying to accomplish here. So Vandal... As a, point, as a point of note, combat spells do not damage anything but what you cast them at. Except Fireball. Is not a combat spell. Yeah. But I have it. It's not, a com it's not a combat spell, it's an elemental manipulation. That's different. Yes. But it's my only that, area that's spell. That's a different kettle of fish. It's my only AoE spell. Ah. Uh, yes. Should have thought that one through. <laughs> so, Vandal is going to assess the situation using his intelligence, and he's going to walk out over here. Okay. Well, actually over here. He doesn't want to get too close. Okay. There. And he's going to... Activate his smart goggles as his first action. All right. And once they have zeroed in on Stacy Sleaze, he's going to whip out. Don't get too excited. Um. It's, it's just his gun. <laughs> okay. He's going to whip out right. his Colt Manhunter from its quick draw and fire in the same action. Okay, so that's his first, gun? So first, first I know, off, get a, a penalty for reaction check. Okay. I'm sorry, okay. I meant to actually so now, move one more there. Yeah. Okay. So you make your quick. So it's a reaction test. Mm hmm. Um, the target number is now three because you're walking. Okay. And that's a success test? Yes. Uh, your reaction in dice against target number three. Okay. So five dice versus target number three. You succeed. Okay. So Vandal whips out his uh, Colt Manhunter. And without uttering a word, He's fires a top gun. Well, he fires a bullet at Stacy Sleaze. All right. He's now acting like the strong, silent type. Okay. So with the goggles, that's a minus one. Is it minus one? Oh yeah, because it's not an internal smart link, or it's not a right. Because you're not you're cyber not smart link. Smart. Yeah, you're yeah. Not, it's, it's, so it's a minus one for that. So that negates the walking modifier. I believe. Oof, been a long time since I've run this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, folks at home. It's been he a was while getting cocky. So it's been a while since I've run this. So this is a refresher for everybody. Huzzah! All right. It's oh yeah. Okay. So it's a, so there's a plus one target modifier for walking. So the smart goggles pr negate that. Okay. But for the quick draw, there's a plus two. And my holster negates that. No. 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 Why did I get this thing? <laughs> to be because cool. it's easier to actually quick draw it. Okay, fair enough. It it negates it. It makes it easier to do the quick draw, not to make the actual attack. Okay. So you're still in short range. Yep. So your target number is six. Okay, and I roll my combat dice at that six. Yes. Now you can add combat pool to this. Okay. You can add a number of dice up to uh, the same amount you're rolling as a base. So whatever your pistol skill is. Five. So what are you rolling? You're rolling pistols. Do you have a specialization? I have Colt Manhunter at five as my specialization. Okay. So you could add up to five combat pool. Okay. And my base roll is five dice? Right. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I'm just going to, for now, play it safe and roll the five dice. And sorry, okay. the target number was... Six. Six. This is not going to end well for me. 
Okay, you get two successes. It was not as now bad Stacey, as I thought. Stacy is aware, so she gets to make a dodge test. I think she's going to dodge me, guys. What do you think? So these are all D6s that, that are being rolled. Everything right? is D6. Okay, so for all this combat stuff, what is the what is modifying all the combat rolls? What stat? No stat. Oh, so then how are we getting numbers like 7 and 11 with these? Because the di explode. Oh, I'm sorry. Because the dice explode. If you roll a 6, you roll again and add it. And as long as you're rolling oh. 6s, you keep adding. Okay. Yeah. All ones are bad, but they're only bad if you get all ones. Yep. Any any one is an automatic is an automatic failure. Um, the lowest okay. target number can be is two. If you get all ones, and something very bad happens to you. All right. I see. <laughs> so let's see. So Stacy doesn't have any more actions this combat round. So she's actually going to use all of her combat pool. I'm setting her up for you guys. Dodge. So dodge test, target number is four. She is rolling five dice. She needs three dice to avoid completely. Okay, she does not avoid completely. So Sucker. she gets shot. So what is the damage code on your gun? A cult manhunter does a delightful 9M. 9M, okay. So now she needs to make a uh, resistance test against that. You're hoping it doesn't go well for her. She has three armor, so the target number becomes six. So she's rolling six dice against a target number of six. Okay, she stages it down once. So you said it was what, an M? Yeah, S? M. Okay, so she takes a light wound. Okay. I winged her. Pretty much, yeah. Um, I guess she should make a test to not fall down. <laughs> Such a Hollywood thing. It is. It I'm is. just going to frown at that the entire body uh, test campaign. against <laughs> half the power. If you don't fall down, you get shot. Uh, Hollywood tells otherwise. I shot her in the leg. <laughs> Falling over is usually more of a result of holy god, I just got shot. So only six dice against. Sorry, what did you say the power of the attack was? Nine M. 9M, so 4 minus her armor. Miss target order of 2. She doesn't fall down. Yeah, Too bad. she gets grazed across the arm. And, and turns like, you fucker! <laughs> At which point it becomes Crusher Craig's turn. Uh-oh. <laughs> and you just shot his goyle. That's okay. <laughs> That is apt. I only wish I'd put on my fire first. Alright. Oh, sorry. So the Crusher. Oh, yes. The Crusher. So is That's he the descendant of Arresta? Um. <laughs> Yes, yes he is. He is pretty sad. <laughs> He's moved on to things that are much larger than crabs. <laughs> much larger than crabs. He and still mainly guys, he mainly guys crabs. named Craig. They do both have no, crabs his name though. Is Craig. Gosh. I think we can assume, just looking at the two of them, there are crabs involved. <laughs> oh. oh, that's harsh. <laughs> All right, so he is going to rush directly at, let's see, what's his run speed, times three. His quickness is five. Can he 
he get to him like that? Oh, he can. He doesn't have it. So, this big ass troll comes bearing right down on Darcy. That's okay. I was prepared for this. So that's what that smell is. Or, <laughs> <laughs> Bring me my brown pants, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he is going on full offense, which is a maneuver. It reduces your target number to hit him by two, uh, but increases the dam his damage level by one level. Oh. Yes. Okay, so... Gambling. Yeah, it is. he is gambling, especially because he moved, so that's a plus one on his target number. So now we're doing melee combat. He's probably going to crush me. I mean, it's it's in his name. It's in his nature. It's, it is in his nature. He also has a reach advantage on you because he is a troll. Speaking of trolls, I'm going to end this episode here. <laughs>